the uh, one really important aspect of this availability of this sort of pseudo Excel table that's down here. You know, it's, it's not just for navigating around the document. All this text is being stored. The author, the SME, the comment, the status, subject, things like that. And it can be used to generate automatically a markup summary that can serve as a record of the markups in a PDF. And really the idea is to get it to replace a comment resolution summary since it will have uh, replies in there and status updates. Uh, the comment resolution summaries are typically provided in a Word document, but in this case, we will um, we'll be able to create it straight out of Bluebeam. So I added those two files to the chat. Um, if you haven't, please download those. We're going to need them. To create a markup summary in the markups list, you'll want to click on the uh, create summary box. It's like a box with an upward arrow sticking out of it. You'll have an option to export to CSV, which is an Excel sheet, uh, XML, print it to paper, but the preferred method is going to be our PDF summary. When you select that button, it's going to prompt the markup summary tab, which is its own kind of uh, beast. So you will have your file names from the session up here. Right now we just have our plan sheets, but maybe you have specs and an estimate in here, and you can click on add to add those in. The title of your markup summary will, will be created automatically. It will be the, uh, the PDF name with markup summary at the end. You can select the place where you wanna save this markup summary. And then the, the rest of the options here, we've streamlined into, with luck, when you load in the file that you downloaded, it will update all the stuff automatically uh, to what you will typically need. So to bring in that BCF file that you downloaded from the chat, you'll click on load config and it, uh, you'll navigate to where you saved that document. It's NJDOT markup summary config. You'll click on that to open it. And essentially what that loads in is your filters. And it selects the comments that you want to display. So that's the... Uh, the quick step to get that all done. Now, if you have further customizations, let's say you want to sort by SME or sort by author, sort by status even, you can switch that up as needed. But the last step is going to be in our output tab here. We are going to pull in our template right here where it says none. You'll go all the way over to the right and click that box with the down arrow this time to import. And you'll navigate to that PDF that you downloaded, the NJDOT Markup Summary Memo Template. And you'll open that. You'll be prompted now to uh, resize the window so that it fits in uh, those two blue lines that are part of the template. and Aside from any additional customizations that you might need, um, that's pretty much it. You're, you're basically ready to hit OK. The last thing I'll mention is you can insert page breaks so that you get one page of just the first sheet comments, second page is second sheet, or I should be seeing SME there. You can also create a page break by SME so that you know your first sheet will say all the, the traffic comments, no matter where they were left in the plan, no matter the sheet. Second sheet is environmental, third sheet, et cetera, et cetera. 
So you can insert those page breaks. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave them blank so you see the, uh, the full picture. With the config loaded and the template imported, we're now good to hit OK. And it'll process for a second. And then finally, it will open up the file that um, will will stand in place for your, your comment resolution summary. And you can kind of see it, it resembles it, right? So you've got your original comment. You've got the status. So in a resolution summary, this might be the designer telling you, you know, will comply or um, agreed, will incorporate. In this case, it's going to be in the status, and it'll have the accepted. Right, so to build this on your own, um, you'll start by going over to the columns. And pretty much everything uh, below date, you can kind of uncheck. So color and check mark, I'll uncheck that. But all my column or all my uh, yeah all my columns up here I definitely want included in my markup summary. Uh, filter and sort. You know we talked about the filtering of markups as you filter and sort tab is grayed out cannot click on it. Um, so I would make sure hmm. are either of you in a read only version. Uh, so to check that up at the top left review, you'll have view mode or markup mode. Uh, do either of you have markup mode open and active? Make sure of that. So I'm the creator of this session. And again, when you create your own session, you are going to have some access that is going to be limited for reviewers. So. I'm doing this walkthrough. I created this session. Maybe that's why I'm able to uh, export these markups. But to sort of build it yourself, really the one thing you have to do is filter like we've been doing uh, throughout. And the key thing for that, I think, is going to be to filter by subject. And you'll just want to eliminate anything that doesn't have the word call out or have the word text. Those are the only ones you want left. And then back in the output tab, you would hit OK. So I think uh, I think for both of you guys, um, it's a matter of uh, only the, the person that started the session will be available to do this. But I'll make sure to uh, account for that in our um, in our shorter videos. Um, so I want to move on from the, the markup summary. Uh, as I mentioned, this is sort of automatically creating uh, the comment resolution. A uh, bit of a mess here uh, with all the different testing that we did of the status, but you can see uh, what the status was changed to, who changed the status. And then when as well, that'll always come in. You'll have a thumbnail of where your markup is located. You can adjust the size of these in the options as well. And as a step either before or you could potentially do it after, um, you'll want to enter your project title, submission type, review type, your name, district, and date, and this can be used as an attachment when uh, going back to the designer with your comments. But I'm gonna skip right here, right to our, our last thing. It's um, it's something that's been kind of sitting there, uh, staring us in the face with uh, big NJDOT letters on it, um, but we haven't really touched it. And the reason that is, is because Again, common and integrity. This column uh, cannot be changed by someone who isn't the original um, creator of that comment. 
So the NJDOT backcheck column, right? We've been through the LPA designer response. We resolved the comments with them. We agreed to all the changes that we're going to see incorporated on the final submission. And after we receive that final submission, we'll do one last pass of this uh, commented file. This will be someone at DOT with a full license. You'll check the document out of PMRS. And then from there, that is where you'll be able to change the status. <clears throat> Sorry. Change the value that's associated with this NJDOT back check. Um, so the options here, I'll have to uh, find one of my comments for me to do it. Oops. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so I left this comment here. It's my own, so I can change this uh, this column on my own without leaving the studio session. Uh, there are really only two options. Again, we're going to try to avoid none until somebody finds a, a pretty good reason for it. Uh, really, you're just looking to, to check it as non-confirmed or confirmed. Non-confirmed, you may want to add a reply under the comment. Um, if the comment was incorporated incorrectly, if it was partially missed, or if it was entirely missed, uh, you'll want to note that in your reply. Or you'll just confirm it and say, you know, uh, checks out, they made the change, it's working out. Now these not confirmed, confirmed none. If the number of SME reviewers is so high that they can't all be checking out, checking in a document to perform their back check, you can start a session. And these correspond directly to the status options that are available in the migration tab. Not confirmed, confirmed, none. And really we're, we're looking for not confirmed and confirmed. So if, if the number of SME reviewers is so high, that you can't possibly use this column. You can also use the corresponding uh, migration status. And uh, I'll just show an example of that. So uh, this one was set as accepted to be incorporated. Let me do one where the read only can see it. Accepted, uh, set by me. And now maybe I'm a, performing a back check in a studio session. There's a lot of SMEs. I'll confirm it. And then you'll see the difference in the status. The one is review, the one is migration. Um, Bluebeam was originally geared towards architects. I would expect that in uh, in the coming updates, uh, some of these words will start resembling uh, more of the language that's used at DOT. Uh, but for now, it's what we got, review and migration. At that point, of course, the LPA will have hit everything. It's perfect. The final submission is ready to go to construction. Everything is confirmed here in the back check column. Our review process is complete. 